Hello. I'm going to read a book. This book. A Confederate General from Big Sur. A novel by Richard Brodigan. Take a look real quick. Each video will be a chapter. So... We have contents, which include a prologue, and parts, part one, a confederate general from Big Sur, chapter one, a confederate general from Big Sur, two, the tied teeth of Lee Mellon, three, the first time I met Lee Mellon, four, Augustus Mellon, CSA, four, or five, headquarters, six, a daring cavalry attack on PG&E. I think that refers to Pacific Gas and Electric. We'll find out. Part 2. Campaigning with Lee Mellon at Big Sur. Chapter 1. The Letters of Arrival and Reply. Chapter 2. Breaking Bread at Big Sur. Chapter 3. Preparing for Ecclesiastes. Chapter 4. The Rivets in Ecclesiastes. Chapter 5. Begging for Their Lives. Chapter 6. The Truck. Chapter 7, In the Midst of Life. Chapter 8, The Extremity of $6.72. Chapter 9, To Gettysburg, To Gettysburg. Chapter 10, Great Day. Chapter 11, Motorcycle. Chapter 12, A Farewell to Frogs. Okay. Oh, there's more. 13. The Rights of Tobacco. 14. Wilderness Again. 15. The Pork Chop Alligator. 16. The Wilderness Alligator Haiku. 17. He usually stays over by the garden. 18. That Chopping Sound. Uh, 19. A Short History of America After the War Between the States. 20. Lee Mellon's San Jose Sartorius. 21, The Campfires of Big Sur. 22, The Discovery of Laurel. 23, Lee Mellon, Roll Away, You Rolling River. 24, Alligators Minus Pork Shops. 25, Four Couples in American Sequence. 26, Awaken to the Drums. 27, Bye Now, Roy Earl, Take Care of Yourself. Crowned with laurel and our banners before us we ascend. I think 29. To a pomegranate ending, then 186,000 endings per second. Okay. Prologue. We'll do the prologue. This video will be what we just did in the prologue, and then we'll do the book proper. Okay. Let me get set up here. Hopefully you can hear me. I'll check it to make sure. Attrition's Old Sweet Song. The records exhibit that 425 individuals received appointment by the president to one of the four grades of general, of whom 299 were in grade at the end of the war. The attrition is accounted for as follows. Killed in action or died of wounds, 77. Resigned, 19. Died by accident or from natural causes, 15. Appointments canceled, 5. Declined appointments, 3. Killed in personal encounters, personal encounters in quotes, 2. Assassinated, 1. Committed suicide, 1. Dropped, 1. Retired by reason of wounds, 1. And reverted to rank of colonel, 1 for a total of 126. I mean, what do you do besides being a Confederate general? Looks like this is a title, by the way. It's big in bigger letters. Uh, 129 were lawyers or jurists. 125 were professional soldiers. Makes sense. Uh, 55 were businessmen, 
uh, including bankers, manufacturers, and merchants. 42 were farmers or planters. 24 were politicians. 15 were educators. 13 were civil engineers. Uh, 6 were students. 4 were doctors. 3 were ministers. 3 were frontiersmen slash peace officers. 2 were Indian agents. 2 were naval officers. One was an editor, and one was a soldier of fortune, for a grand total of 425. And that'll do it. Next time, we'll do part one, chapter one.